I knew I wanted to be a teacher when I was very young. Um, I had some great teachers and I had some awful teachers. And I knew that uh, I could make a difference if I could grow up and be one of those teachers. I didn't know that I wanted to get into space science and uh, the area of engineering until I met and fell in love with Dick Scobie when we were teenagers. Dick Scobie and I couldn't afford to go out on fancy dates, so we'd sit um, at an airport and watch the airplanes take off and land. And he told me all about those airplanes. I was eager to learn more about them and to fly them. And eventually we owned our own Starduster too and flew in those open cockpit airplanes. Aerobatics and the whole works. And then I was interested introduced to astronomy. Um, when Dick Scobie's uh, dream was to be a pilot and then an astronaut, my dream was to be a teacher, a scientist, and to make a difference for youngsters. When he returned from his first flight in space, um, he wanted to tell me what it was like to fly before he told anyone else. So while there were reporters and neighbors waiting to uh, talk to him about space flight, he whisked me away to our favorite restaurant. And there he told me all about that mission, 41C, a solar max repair flight. And the stars in his eyes were brighter than those in the sky that night. After he shared with me the joy of space flight, took a picture and dropped the camera thinking that he was still in space with uh, those heavy IMAX cameras and kept stuffing his napkin under his plate so it wouldn't fly away, having been on Earth with me only an hour after landing. I mentioned to him, though, that didn't it upset you that President Reagan mentioned everybody's name on that crew but forgot the pilot's name, forgot your name? And he said, oh, no, June, what was important was the mission. We got the job done. It was, it was a very successful mission. Years later, he was assigned as the commander of 51L. And he came home one day and said, what would you think of me as the commander flying the teacher that has been selected to fly in space? And I said, isn't that a dream come true? Finally, I'm a teacher. I'm a college professor. You're an astronaut. And now we're bringing our two careers together. Um, well, everyone who is old enough remembers what happened to 51L. We lost the Challenger. But remembering what Dick Scobie said about what was important was the mission, we said, each of the family members came together and we said, the world knows how they died, but can we tell the world how they lived and for what they were willing to risk their lives? To a person, we agreed. We couldn't launch satellites or conduct the scientific experiments that NASA could with continuing, continuing space flight, but we could continue the education mission, the teacher in space mission. And with that, we decided to create the Challenger Center for Space Science Education. And for 20 years, I've dedicated my heart, my time, all of my energy to making a difference in aerospace, uh, making a difference for educators. And uh, we have 53 Challenger Learning Centers around the world. We just opened one in Seoul, South Korea. We have a fantastic one, University of Leicester in England, and 50 of them across the United States and Canada. Um, they make a difference because at these learning centers, students simulate their own space mission into space. They fly to the moon or they fly to Mars. Uh, new scenarios, a journey to Jupiter. Um, they become scientists and engineers, technicians, uh, physicians as they work on their own mission in a simulated space flight. We are making a difference. We'll continue our quest in space. There will be more shuttle flights and more shuttle crews and yes, more volunteers, more civilians, more teachers in space. Nothing ends here. 
our hopes and our journeys continue. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger honored us for the manner in which they lived their lives. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of Earth to touch the face of God.